Hello, hello, and happy Friday. Good morning. I hope that you're having a great day so far. I am at home today and going to be sharing with you five pieces of furniture that you can use to help improve your workouts when it comes to lifting, shaping, and toning your buns, the booty, right from home. So often we think that we need to go to a gym or a studio um, to get a great workout in, and that is just not the case. I am going to show you some really simple things that you have at home that you can use to get a great workout in and I'm going to walk you around my house as we do this so that I can show you what I use to get great workouts right from home because I don't know about you but my home workouts are some of my favorites favorites because they can be so incredibly effective when you know what to do. So let's go ahead and get you set up right here and get started. And as we're going along, make sure you say, hey, let me know what you're up to this weekend um, and let me know which your favorite ends up being out of these movements. So the first thing I'm going to use is my couch. Any couch will do, um, but this one's great because it has this longer piece on here that sticks out, which makes it really easy to use for a couple things. And I'm gonna show you exercises on each of these pieces of furniture, and even with this tea towel <laughs> washcloth as well. So I think you're gonna find these really cool. So first one I'm gonna show you is what's called a split leg lunge. So you put one foot on the couch and the other one is right here and then you do a lunge in this position. This is called a split leg lunge. And what you wanna do is make sure that your knee is not going forward or ahead of your toes. You're going straight down and your knee lines up over your ankle or midfoot and you're pressing up. And this works the underside of the thigh here and into the glute. And it's nice because the couch is really soft on your foot. Here, I'll show you again. So you would just lean forward, put your the very top of your foot on the couch, and then lunge down and press up. And you wanna make sure your front foot is far enough forward so that you can really get into working the glute. Now, let's try the next one. This is one of my favorite exercises for the buns. It is made famous by a booty specialist, Brett Contreras, he invented the hip thrust. So what you're gonna do is bring your shoulder blades onto the couch and have your feet nice and wide apart. And maybe I'll move this a bit. I see that the comments are in the way. Let's turn you just a little more. Okay, that's a bit better. And then you have your feet shoulder width distance apart, toes turned out, Push your hips up, squeeze your bum hard as you can, and then come back down. Importantly, keep the chin tucked, and all you're doing is pressing through the heels, squeezing the bum, and getting a nice hip thrust right here on your couch. Boom. So there is two amazing booty exercises that you can do right on your couch. You can do them during commercial breaks while you're watching TV, which is super awesome. And as we're going along here, I have placed a link around this video for my full 15 minute booty challenge routine, which you can do right from home without getting any additional equipment. So as we're going along, be sure to check out that link I've placed for you and see the full workout over there. Now, let's get into the next thing. Sorry, I'm gonna be moving you around a little bit today. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that I'd like to show you is a chair. Here is just a simple black chair. I just pulled it over from my dining room table. And a chair is basically amazing for balance. Now for a lot of us, when we just have one foot in the air or we're standing on one foot, it can be hard to balance. So what I would suggest is having a chair nearby for your workout. And all we're gonna do is a leg lift. So let's move back. So I would just put my hands on the chair for balance, any way that's comfortable, and we could do a leg lift to the side, which is working the upper and outer portion of the glute, medius and minimus, or we could do a kickback, where we're driving the leg back, squeezing the bum, and this is again just there for balance, because sometimes if you're like finding it hard to balance when you're doing these, it can be frustrating. Instead, 
Just give yourself that little bit of extra support so that you can really focus on the task at hand. Now you could also do that hip thrust on the chair as well. So remember, tips of shoulder blades here. Push your elbows down, chin is tucked. Drive up and squeeze bum and come down. Of course, make sure you're nice and stable. Squeezing the bum, great exercise as well. So there's the chair. Now, <laughs> the next one that we're gonna use is a towel. So I understand this isn't a piece of furniture, but <laughs> it's something that you have around your house. Um, and this could be a washcloth, uh, any kind of towel you have. It could be one from the bathroom or one from the kitchen. And we are gonna use this on like a slippery floor. Um, so you could use it on hardwood or tile. And what we're gonna do is some lunges. So let me go ahead and show you this. You're gonna put this towel on the floor and it slides around, right? So what we could do in this position is a regular lunge with my foot just sliding back and up. Great one for working the glutes. You could also do a side lunge in this position. So sliding the leg out. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> Good on the inner thighs. <laughs> that's another one. And when I'm doing this side lunge, I'm coming up and squeezing the bum at the top. So there is another thing you can do, just using something as simple as a little slidey towel on your floor. So now, I'm out of breath from showing you these. <laughs> Let's head on outside. And it's windy today, so bear with me, okay? But I'm gonna show you two other things that I use outside all the time. I did say it's windy, but it's beautiful. <laughs> so let's get you set up here and I'll show you two other areas that I use. Okay, great. So I'm here outside. It's kind of tricky with the sun. It's so bright today, but I'm gonna show you how I use my stairs and also this high step right here that really helps me um, to work the glutes. So you could find a high step like this anywhere in your backyard or outside. It feels like it's like super blown out. I don't know if you guys can see me that well. Okay, that looks a little better. So here's what you do. You're gonna put one foot up high on this step. Also do it from the side. So you have one foot up here nice and high. Rise up and stand nice and tall, squeezing the bump and come back down. Yeah, that is a great one. And also is really, really great for building your overall strength in your core because that forcing to stand up takes quite a bit of strength and, a, and is quite a good challenge as well. It takes your core to fire up and really squeeze. Now, I wanna show you the last one and if you're just joining me, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video. I know it's a big windy day out here today, but what I've done is walk you through the five pieces of equipment or furniture that you have right in your home um, that really make you be able to have an absolutely amazing workout without having to buy any equipment, without having to go to the gym. And today we're doing the booty edition, so I'm showing you how you can work your butt right from home without anything else. So let's get into the last one. I wanna make sure you can see me. I think I'm gonna move you just down a little lower. How does that look? Oh tricky <laughs> clearly this is a little bit harder than I imagined <laughs> but let's put you down right here um, okay maybe I'm just gonna hold you <laughs> what you're gonna do is use the stairs okay so I'm just gonna use a normal set of stairs that's right outside okay 
Can you see? Yeah. Okay. That's going to have to be good enough. So I'm going to put one foot on the stair. I'm going to step back and lunge down and then drive up and squeeze, squeeze my butt. Stepping down, coming up. Another one. The other move that you can do on here, not a very flattering angle, but hey, is put one foot up on the stair and just do a teeny little squat down and drive up. Or one of my favorites is keep one foot elevated on the stair, the other foot out, squat down, and then rise all the way up and squeeze. Squat down, rise all the way up. This is a great one because it just makes this one leg have to work a little bit harder, but you're still getting down nice and low. And of course, you do the same thing on the other side. Squat down and lift up. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Let's go back inside where it's not quite as windy. Let me open this up. We did it. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like to see the full 15-minute booty routine that I can walk you through, make sure you tap the special link I've placed for you around this video so that you can start getting into great shape right from home without any additional equipment, without having to go anywhere. Got my heart heart rate up. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely amazing weekend and a great rest of your day. And please do give this video a like and share it on your profile if you want to see, see more of it because it'll let me know, okay, you guys like this. I would like to do an ab version of this, an arm version of this, a couple more so that you can get some great ideas for working out and getting into great shape right from home. Have an amazing day. We'll see you again soon. Big hugs. Bye-bye.